So you start coding a Discord bot with Scratch for Discord, and now you want to release a second update. So that's going to be what I'm showing you guys today. So the last video was how to set up a Discord bot for the first time, and this video, well, it, it's going to have two parts. One is if you have it saved, there is a save button right here. And one, another one is if you don't have it saved. So I would recommend saving it because if you have it saved, then you can edit. If you can edit commands from previous updates, there is another way that you can do that if you don't have it saved. But um, let's just get started. So the first one is if you do have it saved. So I'm just gonna pretend I have it saved, and then um, I just did this command last time. And I actually have my own Discord bot if you guys want to look at that. It has fun commands, moderation, music commands, and economy commands are coming soon. And I actually did not use Scratch for Discord with that. So the invite link is in the description and the website. So if you want to go check that out, I would definitely recommend it. So I just did this last time in the last tutorial on how to set up the Discord bot. So I, I'm just pretending I have this saved, and then I'm just going to do a simple command handler example. So when I do exclamation mark say, then it just says the arguments back, and the arguments are just whatever I say after the command. So, and this is if you have it saved by the way. So if you go to file, and then there's an option export to javascript. And then make sure to save this too, so you can uh, do the same thing next time. So click export to javascript, and then do control A to select all. So this is basically just the javascript code of your butt. So sometimes it just uh, highlights the X and uh, this too, but make sure it's it doesn't highlight those, so just do this and then do control A so it, doesn't, it only highlights this box. So this is just a JavaScript code of whatever blocks you put in. You can do Control C, and then go to your replet. This is the same REPL that I'm using from last time. So go to your bot.js. Bot.js is your main file, and these, this code, the const keep alive, that's just the code that we used last time to make it 24/7, and so did the server.js. So uh, you have, you're gonna have to delete that, but if you want, you can just drag everything below it if you don't feel like memorizing it. But I, I usually just do Control A, delete, and then paste the new code in. And then before that, just uh, just put that code in again. And it has to be another line. So const keep alive equals require dot slash server dot js. And then after above your client ons, after all these definition codes, just go below that and put keep alive and then avoid. If if it's like this, this is called avoid. So just put keep alive and then avoid. And then that's just basically it for the 24/7 part. And then make sure you don't delete this. And then yeah, that's pretty much it for the saved part. And now let's get to the part where it's not saved so this part is a little more complicated so but not that much so i'm just gonna pretend i have these two again so this time i'm gonna have to export the javascript again but this is actually really confusing so this this above your uh client.ons or client.logins these are all like the definitions so the client.on um, the, this is the say command that with the command handler and then this one is the ping command this one is the bot login and then this is everything over here above all of those is just the definitions so over here if I put um, their message reaction add those are those are there by default so if you use messages if you use reactions then if you don't have this section, then the in the console, in this thing over here, the console, it will say message reaction is not defined or whatever. So, and then if I add something like uh, embeds, so if I 
instead of making this just plain text, I can make embed. And then if you want, you can go to settings and then check all of these. I would recommend doing that. And then if I have like the color as random color, then I can put it in color and then it would add something to yeah there it is function color random that wasn't there before so function color random so if you have one of those you would have to copy that definition and put it somewhere above in the definitions so you can just put it like that and then just copy the new code just copy everything over here like all of the the login and all of the commands and even this for the at the end so and then just go just go below the definitions and make sure you had all of your definitions not only one you have to add all of the definitions if you if there if you have any blocks that were there and then just go over here to your client the login or client client the not login isn't always at the beginning it's just actually the order of the block and uh, let me put this in the order of the block so this is at the top I would recommend putting it at the bottom but it's not really any difference so you just copy that and make sure you don't get the the message reaction add and message reaction remove those are kind of confusing because it still has client the on but the client the on like the actual commands have client the on um, and this one is client dot on too, so don't get confused. Just do the command version. Don't do the message reaction ad or anything. And then go to the first one right below the definitions, and the keep below the keep alive. I created a mistake. I'll I have to put the keep alive uh, below that too. I'll fix that. So after you add all the functions in, uh, I created a mistake here. You have to put the keep alive be below all the definitions and then just put it there or um to keep alive avoid and then put it like above all of the other ones so like instead of replacing the whole thing with the new code which is if you do it from if you do it while it's saved you're just adding code and if you want to edit something that was before if, if you have it saved you can just like edit it from here but if you want to edit something from before you can just rep uh you can just make that command again export to javascript and then copy that certain command so like that client on and then you can see like for example the command it says ping so you can see which command goes to which code and then just replace that code with that command and then that code <coughs> that command becomes a new version of the command if that makes sense and yeah that's actually pretty much it for today's video if you do run uh there might be uh an error where is this keep alive oh i did key alive make sure you don't do any typos and then you can just click this to see where the typo is and then yeah it says server is ready and then this thing pops up and then you don't have to do anything else in update uptime robot if you don't get them say if you don't get what i'm saying make sure to watch the last video which says how to make the bot run 24 7 because if you if i close up if you if i close out of this anytime right now then the bot's gonna stop running um, well, the bot isn't even running now because I don't think. I, yeah, I didn't put a valid token in. Make sure to put your token in. Don't don't just leave this. Don't just leave this as your bot token. And just go to your dev portal. Put your token in. And uh, watch the last. That's the last video. It's gonna say how to do it. Up an uptime robot, so it's 24/7. And you also have to add this code to the keep alive the server.js and this at the beginning. So make sure you watch the last video if you don't get the, what that is. And make sure to add my bot. My bot is called Sambot. It has moderation, a lot of fun commands, economy com commands coming soon, and it also has music commands. 
so it's really cool and there are also more coming soon so I would recommend adding that but instead of that I'm gonna get to the actual commands next video because the last video was just how to set it up and now is just to update it the next one I'm gonna be starting the actual commands like the random random responses embeds uh, polls anything like that like everything you see here I'm just gonna be going through all of those variables too and unfortunately you can't do the things I just said I, I, you can't do music bot in scratch for discord you have to actually code using to do that because you actually need a different package you can't do those from discord.js itself and yeah I'll do the bot status the bot status is pretty simple and I'll do like every ev every thing you can think of basically and if you have any suggestions make sure to comment down below and like the video if this was helpful to you and I'll see you next time